Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and welcome to part 2 of this Python math tutorial and in this part we're going to make this uh, sinus animation and this spiral animation in Blender As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started Okay, so let's start off by copying the uh, script then Control C Then let's create a new one and then give it a name, I'm just going to call it uh, sin and then let's paste the uh, previous code and then we're going to edit this code let's set the uh, y value to uh, 0.1 and then for the object location for the uh, y axis we're going to set it to 10 times sin y so that we get the uh, wavy function of uh, sinus which uh, we'll see when we go to the first frame and then play the animation you can see that we have the sinus function in Blender but uh, it might look a bit better if we move it a bit uh, higher up on the y-axis so uh, this is what it looks like when we add 30 as a constant within the uh, location for the y-axis. We can also add minus 10 in front of x so that it moves a bit backwards on the x-axis, which uh, might look a bit cooler. So something like this. If you want the sinus waves, to move further on the uh, y-axis you can increase the uh, coefficient so I'm going to change it from 10 to 20 and then let's run the script as you can see the waves are now longer so uh, you can play around with the sinus function and get a lot of different results and uh, now I increased the uh, constant slightly which moves the uh, sinus waves a bit higher. So I'm going to save before I continue. We can also make the uh, sinus function a bit more three-dimensional by adding uh, an additional value for the uh, set axis for each um, frame. So uh, we set it to set plus equals to uh, 0 0.3. And if we now play the animation, you can see that it moves upwards on the uh, z-axis as well. So if you just play around with the different functions, different variables, coefficients and constants, you can get a lot of different cool animations in Blender using Python, as you can see. Now, the uh, last animation I'm going to create and then render is a uh, spiral animation. So uh, let's just save before we continue. Save as, click on the plus sign, and then save. And uh, let's copy the code, add a new one, and then paste the code. And for this spiral, we need to remove the uh, x, y, and uh, set variables for now. And then let's set n equals 80 then r equals 10, which is the radius of the spiral, and then x equals 0, which will be the starting point of the spiral on the x-axis. And then to create a circular pattern, we need to define angle with the following function, and then for the z-axis, set uh, r times uh, cos with the uh, angle value, and then y with r times sin with the variable angle. And uh, then we also need to add 0.4 for uh, each uh, keyframe so that it goes from uh, a uh, circular pattern to a spiral pattern as the value increases on the x-axis for each frame. Okay, so uh, let's play to regenerate and as you can see we now have the uh, spiral function in 
Blender. And uh, we can also edit the uh, variables so that we uh, get some different results. We can also define a constant variable so that the spiral moves on the uh, y-axis and z-axis as well. So uh, let's set it to zero globally. And then inside the for loop, we'll set the constant to plus equals 0.3 for uh, each loop. And then we can add the constant variable to the y and z axis. Okay, and then let's run the uh, script. And then let's play it from the beginning. As you can see, we get this uh, cool animation. Okay, so let's pause it and then let's save. Click on the plus sign and then save. And now it is finally time to set up the lighting and the render. So uh, let's go into rendered view and select the light. And then go into the light settings. Let's set the power to five and then change it into a sun. And then you can press R to rotate the sun. And then let's select the icosphere and let's add a material to the icosphere. And I'm going to uh, make it uh, red, for example. You can obviously add whatever color you want. So just play around with the colors and then I'm going to make the background completely black like this. And then let's hide the icosphere in the render. Okay. And it seems to look fine. So uh, the uh, next step will be to uh, make the uh, cube transparent. So uh, let's select the uh, cube. And then go into the materials. And then let's make it transparent. And as you can see, it's gone. Now let's set up the camera. So press numpad zero to uh, look through the camera. And then select the camera. Make sure we have the overlay enabled. And then let's uh, give it a high end value. And then press N and lock camera to view. And then we're going to set up the camera maybe around here. And uh, then we can go to the uh, first frame and an item. And then let's keyframe the location so that we can animate it. Now let's go to the last frame and uh, move the camera in this direction. And then press I and I to keyframe once again. And then press T to set the keyframe interpolation to linear. And as you can see, the speed of the camera is constant. Now for this animation, we only really need 300 frames. So let's set the end frame to 300. And then in the uh, particle settings, we can bake the uh, particle uh, simulation. So something like this looks fine. And then we can hide the overlay to uh, see what the render looks like. And uh, then let's save before we continue. So file, save as, click on the plus sign and then save. Okay, so uh, let's press N and unlock the camera to view. And as you can see, we need the uh, icospheres to be a bit larger. So I'm going to go into the particle settings and increase the scale of the particles. Okay, and then let's go into the render settings and set the number of samples to 300. And then in the output settings, I'm going to set it to 4K. You can just leave it at 100% if you just want 
the 1080p resolution. And uh, then for the uh, output, I'm going to set the compression to 90%. And then uh, create a uh, folder for the uh, animation. I'm just going to call it math, select it, give the animation a name, and then enter to save. You can also use cycles for the uh, render, but I think uh, Eevee is uh, good enough. Okay, so uh, let's start the uh, render. I'm just going to save one more time and then go to uh, render and then render animation. And thank you, Mr. Monkey Shoes and Terry Davis for sponsoring the channel.